What's going on guys? Vig BB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I scored a WWF Data East Royal Rumble. Take the tag! Let's take a look. <laughs> Alright guys, Joe, Joe, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything, all of the exciting behind the scenes, me living my daily life, working in the garage. I didn't think I was going to have enough room for this machine, but I did make some room because the deal that I scored on this, it's, it's too good to be true. Man, I am excited. I have a little bit, kind of a quick backstory. If you do see my last video, I did introduce a new series because a lot of people, and I read your comments, damn man, this guy yaps too much. Well, I started the new series called Five Minute Credit. Basically, we put a coin in, usually average game time, about five minutes. I'm gonna basically try to get all the details and all the quick snippets and stuff within five minutes. Let me know down below if you like that little series that I'm starting, because pretty sure you will, I hope you do, because people say I do too much yapping. Basically, if you did see that, you would come to see this video as I yap your ear off. So yes, be sure to go watch that last video and let me know. <laughs> Enough about the intro, let's talk about this amazing score. Yes, a Royal Rumble. Yes, I did get this on Facebook Marketplace. No, I did not get it for free 99. I did actually pay for this. I've always said in my past videos, I have my little notification set. Whether you put pinball or arcade, I kind of get this little ping. Hey, you know, some stuff came up, new searches, you know, pertaining to your pinball search. And sure enough, I open up the app and I lay my eyes on this beautiful Royal Rumble. Now I mentioned before my little kind of five minute credit video. This is actually one machine of, I would probably say about five or six that I would actually want to own. And uh, yeah, this is also, I'm not gonna lie to you, this, it may or may not totally stay with me. Um, I do have plans, I did mention it. I do have plans to basically kind of flip this. I do have to fix this thing up. This thing is 30 years old. This right here came out in May, 1994. Uh, you know, right now we are 2024. This came out when I was four years old, so it is, 30 years old, a little bit over 30 years, and um, it's got a little bit of a backstory to it. I was really excited when I picked it up. Kind of crazy coincidence, the day before I saw the Facebook ad, I did grab a new dolly from Harbor Freight as really for this Illinois pinball machine, the V-pin I'm building. I, I needed to move it around. I had it on a six foot table. The customer did not give me the legs. So I was like, let me get this dolly. And I was kind of not gonna get it. Uh, it was on sale, so I was like, let me go get it. And then sure enough, it's like the gaming gods were watching over me and said, hey Vic, man, you got that new dolly. We're gonna give you a new pinball machine, or I should say we're gonna give you a notification of a pinball machine coming up. But basically that dolly saved my back and it also helped me score the deal on this Royal Rumble. Now, just like any other game, I always get excited, especially for an actual machine that I, I want. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this game right here, Royal Rumble, is really what got me motivated slash into virtual pinball. Yes, Royal Rumble. When I kind of saw a little glimpse of virtual pinball and I was kind of like just, you know, watching YouTube videos, I did see this. I mean, to me, it's an iconic logo. When you see Royal Rumble, I saw that and then I would probably say because of this table, I was hooked and kind of motivated to learn more about virtual pinball. Now, another little thing that I'm actually a little bit proud of myself, later on we're gonna, you know, I'll, I'll see how it is, but I, yes, I do have Royal Rumble on my V-Pin. I never played it. It's one of those tables where I didn't want to play it on, on virtual pinball. I would probably rather enjoy it in its real form. And I mean, you're talking, over 10 years of when I started like V-Pin. Um, I have, I've, I loaded up the table. I just never fully played it. But now, now I'm able to actually really play it, really learn the game rules and stuff. 
Now again, if you've seen my shorts at my local Pimmel Arcade, they have a Stern WrestleMania. This is obviously, I mean, that Stern is, you know, more current. I think that's like a 2001 game. This is really the first wrestling game. I mean, WWF. This is not WWE. I grew up on WWF. I'll be brutally honest. These kind of, you know, I know the fighters. I don't know all of them. There's eight superstars on this. I would say out of the eight, I know about, I would say five to six. So there are a couple that, I mean, you can kind of tell by face who it is, but there's like, you know, a couple that on the screen that you're collecting the characters. I don't even know who they are. Um, it's just, it's just kind of crazy. I, I was, I'm going to say I was a wrestling fan growing up big, but basically once like John Cena came into the scene, it was, uh, it, it basically time for me to part ways. Then obviously I'll be honest, Call of Duty, uh, came into my life. <laughs> now we're talking about the history and all that. Let's talk about the actual history about this machine that I learned. Again, it's a Facebook marketplace find. The person originally wanted $4,000 for it. I honestly shot him a message. I said, listen, I'll come right now. It was about five o'clock. I didn't get the exact you know, location. I knew it was in Pennsylvania. I said, I'll come right now. I'll give you two grand cash for it. He did send to me like, ah, I just posted it. I'm looking to get a little bit more out of it. I said, question for you. Is there any issues with the machine? Can you take pictures of the play field and all that? He didn't really want to do that. Uh, he did tell me though, there's a couple of like sensors that weren't working. Again, something that doesn't really know pinball terms. Basically there was a rubber stuck in this up kicker part. Uh, and the other big thing he did mention to me about the DMD. So I knew the DMD had an issue. I said, I'll be honest, man, a DMD alone, if I do the research real quick, which I did, a DMD could cost me about $500. So I said, you know, I'll be honest, I'm going to stick with my offer at 2000. Two hours goes by, I get no reply. All of a sudden, the guy hits me back. He goes, have you ever worked slash moved a pinball machine before? I said, yes, I actually just got a dolly. Like, I'm gonna come alone. I don't need you to help me. I'm gonna load this up. The only question I have for you is if you have any stairs. He goes, no, it's a straight shot to the backyard. I just have like a little lip where the sliding door is. I said, honestly, man, I think I could do it on my own. You let me know, my offer stands. I will come tomorrow because now it's like seven o'clock at night. Guy said, okay, I don't know if you ever worked on these before, but I can't get the head off. And I said to him, I was like, the heads don't come off, they actually fold down. He goes, well, I don't know anything about that. If you know how to work it, be my guest, come on down. And then sure enough, he marked it sold for me. So sure enough, I drove 96 miles out to pick up a $2,000 Royal Rumble. Now, you might be going, Vic, man, you know, it was 4K, you really kind of lowballed it. I'll be honest, this does need work. Uh, this right now, I have a lot of you know hopes, I have a lot of intentions, I have a lot of plans. Um, so we'll talk about that later on, but let's talk about the actual history of the machine. I went there, picked it up, really cool guy. The guy said, Vic, I'm moving. He actually had an arcade cabinet and he also had a virtual like um, poker, like a, like a virtual poker. It was pretty cool. It looked like a slot machine, but it was, it was, a t it was like a screen, poker, whatever. Um, he wasn't selling those. I didn't have any interest in them. He had this tucked away in the corner. I'll even post a picture of his Facebook ad here. Basically, I said, hey, what's the story? How did you get this? He said that he had this machine in his house for the past seven years. It's been in that corner. It hasn't moved from that corner in seven years. He got it for him and the kiddos. When the kiddos were young, they would play it. Uh, then they slowly stopped playing it. He even told me that he would come down like late nights He'll turn the machine on, he'll play like two quick games, and then he would just turn it off. So basically, it was just collecting dust. Now aside from being in his house for seven years, he did tell me that whoever he bought it from, they also like serviced the machine when they dropped it off. So in my mind, which it may or not be true, uh, you know, it hasn't been serviced in seven years. The one thing that I was actually anticipating slash I wanted to try, but he already did it, he did remove the battery. Uh, you know, usually on these type of machines, these dated machines, they have battery leaks and all that and corrosion. This person actually swapped out the original battery and then put like a new board with like a watch battery in it. So it was kind of cool to see that he did tell me that. But in seven years, he'd never changed the balls on it. He's never taken the plate, the glass off. He's like, I never even knew how to take the glass off. Uh, I did it in front of him real quick and he's like, whoa, I never saw anybody do that before. So in my eyes, and I could clearly see it on the play field, uh, the play field needs cleaning. 
Now we can talk about what I plan to do with this machine. I'm going to right now shoot some B-roll of the actual play field. As you can see, it is actually not that bad. I don't see any deep gouges, scratches. When I did go to get this thing, I didn't even play it. The guy turned it on, we started a game, I saw one ball come out of the trough and I looked at it and it was rusted to hell. So I didn't even want to attempt to even play it with that rusty ball. Not to mention I'm pretty sure all six balls were rusty as hell. Basically now the main plan is I am going to totally tear down the play field. Yes, I'm going to take everything out, wire forms, the bumper. I'm going to take everything out and give this the proper cleaning that it needs. Again, amazingly, the play field, it looks great, but there's, it's just definitely like dirt caked over it. So I'm hoping like the WWF logo clears up. Um, I can also take a look at the scoops. Uh, there's no major wear on the scoops. Uh, even on some of the uh, saucers where this up kicker is, there's no major wear. So it's actually very exciting. Now the only thing, some, uh, actually one post while I bought it home and I played it real quick with the kiddo, one post right here in the middle, it actually broke off. So I might need a couple of new posts. I do plan, again, like I said, the main objective I want to do with this, I am going to tear it down. We're going to give it the deep cleaning. I'm going to look into the whole um, clear coating uh, part of part of things. I wasn't really anticipating to clear coat, but if I'm going to go to this extent of tearing it down, I might as well look into clear coating. I'm going to, you know, clean up the wire forms. I'm going to repolish wire forms. The ramp is not awful, but I'm going to look into this flame polishing. I will be careful. Don't worry. It is my machine. So I'll do whatever it is, but I do plan to do a whole new rubber set. Everything right now is just black rubber. So I'm going to go colorized. Um, and definitely going to be doing an LED upgrade. So I will be putting LEDs throughout. We're going to take all the halogen bulbs out, even inside of the back box, taking everything out. And the last and final upgrade that it is needed, but I was going to do it no matter what, I did get a color DMD. That was really honestly the first thing I actually swept the credit card yesterday for that. Now, I will be brutally honest, I did go the pin to DMD route. I did go on the cheaper end. Uh, because a color DMD is about 600 bucks, uh, whereas my pin 2 DMD was on sale for 220 Coming from Australia shipped, it was just flat 220 So again, the objective with this pinball machine is to flip it. Maybe I'll own it. Maybe I'll keep it for a couple of months. Um, it, but the objective is honestly to flip it. Again, I'm not trying to do cash kind of transactions. I'm trying to do trade up. Almost like how you kind of see like somebody did like, they took a penny and they went up to like a, a Tesla. Uh, it's kind of like that, but I'm doing it with pinball machines. Now another cool thing, if you don't know, this machine is actually a wide body pinball machine. So this is not only my first Data East, this is not only my first like DMD era pinball machine. This is actually my first wide body pin. So it's a first of many, uh, it's, you could, you could, kind of feel different. It honestly brought me back to playing my original virtual pinball machine. Um, again, I have so many, you know, things that I want to do to this. Again, I feel like just doing the LEDs is going to be more than enough. Unfortunately, as far as like game counts, there's, there's no game count. I can't tell how many plays it had. It just says that it made a total of a dollar and 25 cents. Um, that's all I could see. <laughs> uh, but yes, this right here is going to be quite a journey. I am excited. Uh, it is what it is. It is a pinball machine. And again, the cool thing, and this is kind of like, you know, I, I don't know if I want to, I'll save it. I'll talk about it now. I'm not going to make another video of it. When it came to, I, 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 like I said, I've caught the pinball bug. I, I want more pinball machines. So um, I'll tell you a little quick backstory to, and I, if you've watched my live stream, I mentioned this. Um, I had actually, this is the third. I had three opportunities to grab three separate pinball machines for super low like cost. Now again, this is going into the Facebook marketplace and all that. Basically what I'm trying to get at is that it's kind of sad and crazy how people post this stuff on Facebook marketplace and the worst thing that irks me is when people don't answer. They like make the posts and they don't even look at it. It's, it's so mind boggling. So here's my quick story. If you didn't watch my live stream, I'll go through it. 
Basically, I would say about two weeks ago, it's kind of crazy. It's crazy how three machines came up within two weeks, right? Two weeks ago, I was on Facebook scrolling around and somebody posted a World Cup soccer for $2,000. Yes, World Cup soccer for $2,000. Obviously, I wrote there, hey, I'm interested. The guy did write though that when you press the start button, the game turns off. So it didn't work. I was like, all right, it's still $2,000 for a World Cup soccer. I wrote to him, I said, I could come right now, I will give you the two grand cash. The worst part about this guy was that he actually read my message. He read it. You could tell on, on Facebook when you see like the icon, his head goes to the, you, you read it. Didn't reply to me. And I was like, this guy read it, but he didn't reply to me. I waited two hours and I wrote him again. I said, I will go, in, I'm gonna get in the car right now. I could come pick this up right now. He read it, still no reply. Going back and forth, and that's like, the, I, it's just me. I'm, I'm writing to him. I wrote four messages within, I would say, about six to eight hours. And he just wouldn't, he wouldn't reply. The next morning, I got fed up, and it was still up for sale. That's another thing that kind of pissed me off, is that it, it's not even marked pending, it's not even marked sold, it's still up for sale. And finally, I let him have it. I said, dude, not, not for nothing, man, but it is crazy rude how you are reading my messages, and you're not even giving me like an answer. You're just reading it. All of a sudden he replies back, he goes, I'm sorry, it's sold. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one that messaged you, why didn't you reply? Then he goes into, the, oh, you're not the only person that I left on red, uh, I have health issues. I was already like, whatever, dude, I, I was already fed up. And then sure enough, when he replied and answering me, then he marked it sold and then he actually deleted the ad. It really pissed me off because it was a like World Cup soccer for two grand and World Cup is an actual, one of my six machines that I would actually like to own. It's a really great game. Now real quick to finish up the World Cup soccer story, what really got me ticked off was that the next day, I saw this same exact World Cup soccer online for $4,100. Uh, it was working and it was the exact machine because again, I kind of screenshotted it and there was like a nick here and it kind of matched up perfectly. And it's, it's honestly, it's a person that kind of fixes up machines. He's a reseller. Uh, I'm not like, you know, disrespecting the reseller. I was just like, ah, it was sold to somebody that's like doing a quick flip, basically getting a hundred percent profit. Uh, and again, doing a quick search, uh, you know, for World Cup soccer, like issues when it starts, it was like something like with like a, maybe a resistor or a capacitor. And sure enough, this reseller got, you know, got it fixed. Now, I'll be honest, the one thing, um, kind of like a positive in my eyes, he still has that ad up to date. So he's been sitting on it now for about two to three weeks and it hasn't sold. Me personally, I feel like now in this day and age, just like me, I like my LEDs. Halogens, yes, are retro, they are great. But right now, looking at this play field, I have a good, I would say 10 halogen bulbs out. Uh, so for me to even just go and look up halogens, I'm already doing the LED upgrade. Not to mention again, this machine is one machine that I actually want. So these upgrades, it's not like I'm doing it to do a quick sale. Uh, it's something that I want to do because if I can't sell this, it's going to go into the basement and I will be keeping this. Um, the second pinball machine that came up was for a Stern Monopoly. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of Monopoly. <laughs> it's one of those long games, a board game. but. You kind of look online, you get a notification for a Stern Monopoly for $2,500 now. I messaged a lady and I said, hey, I'm interested, I could come on down. Sure enough, she reads it, she goes, sorry, it's not available. All of a sudden, I would say about 10 minutes later, the listing is marked pending. You could see this on Facebook, I'm not lying, you, you could see when it's like marked pending. Then it's marked sold. All of a sudden, the ad disappears and then she relists it for $3,500. So I wrote to her, I said, I thought you sold it. I have 2,500 cash ready. I will come down right now and pick it up. She goes, I'm sorry, but I got like 30 DMs and I'm just raising the price on it. It's 3,500, take it or leave it. It was honestly a pretty good looking Monopoly. Like the actual you know, side art and all that, it looked very clean. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of Monopoly. So it's like, you know, I could have gotten a game, but that game specifically, I probably would have, you know, I would do my upgrades, I would play it, but I would have no intention of keeping it because it's Monopoly. I'm not into Monopoly like that. Um, so that's kind of like where I'm, I'm basically taking this journey where I'm, I'm, I'm gonna entertain 
trade offers for this, but it's gotta be a pin that I would actually want. Uh, you know, right now, if somebody said, hey Vic, I will give you right now a Black Knight. No, I have no interest in Black Knight. Uh, if somebody came to me and said, hey, I'll give you a WWE WrestleMania from Stern, I would probably entertain that trade because that is something that I actually would want. I know I'm not gonna get every pinball machine that I want, but it's also now in this realm I have to be careful because I have to make sure that I'm getting you know, close to the same value as the trade. Now, unfortunately, I can't play too many games. I did honestly play for about 10, 15 minutes with my brother just to kind of see it. Uh, again, just knowing that there's so much dirt on this play field, not to mention the balls are rusted out to hell. I don't want to risk damaging the play field. Those balls right now are so rusty, it's like sandpaper to the play field. So I don't really want to do too much. I'm not, I'm not gonna press start on it. Uh, I'm really more excited to really get to gaming once I get the color DMD involved. Even right now, I'm kind of hesitant of tearing it down because I want to play it. I will most likely try to at least clean the play field as is right now, um, but I'm probably just gonna kind of you know bite my tongue and just say, you know what? Let's do a complete tear down, let's clean everything because I can't get my hands underneath this upper play field. Um, that's also another thing, this is my first pinball machine with an upper play field. Um, but yes, there you guys have it, the little background story to the WWF Royal Rumble. When I get it cleaned up, you'll most likely see a couple of streams of this. I'm just excited um, you know, to have this data east. I can't lie to you, I looked underneath the play field and it's nothing like my godfather or a toy story the amount of wires and the way like they did stuff back in the day it's it's so crazy the back box the boards it is um not for the faint of heart so i am excited for the challenge i'm excited to get it you know fixed up i'm also excited because this is the first in my garage i have enough ceiling height where this play field actually goes totally vertical <laughs> it's a first of many's man just stay tuned. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to show this off once it's totally complete. Vic VP, Game Case Arcades, take the tag. It's time to rumble. It's awesome. <laughs>